Hey Easterlingers, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. So we're doing the Griffin. This is one of the roaming monsters. And this is also, I think, just from the base game. I'm not sure if it's a Kickstarter exclusive. I don't remember if it was a stretch goal. But he's slap chopped. Yes, that's with black, a dry brush of gray, and a super dry brush of white. We're starting off with some bad moon yellow contrast paint for his beak and his eyes. And then we're moving on to the main color of this entire miniature, which is Griff Charger Gray, which works perfectly for a Griffin. Uh, and this is going to be going on the entirety of the miniature, except for where the armor is. Uh, it's a very simple miniature if you want to paint this. I mean, you could do this with any other technique you want. Because I want to get this done very quickly, the slap chop method was the best to do with this miniature. And again... I don't know if the Griff Charger Gray was a good choice here because it kind of makes him look more like stone, especially with the Slap Chop. Um, I don't know what could have worked. There's many blues in the contrast range. I don't know if you guys use Dipping Inks by Green Stuff World. I don't have access to those yet. I would love to get my hands on some of those. So GSW, if you're listening or you're watching this, I doubt it. Hey. I'm willing to get sponsored and send me a couple of those to try them out. I'd love to test them out on the channel. Uh, anyway, so, the, I mean, but it does a great job anyways. He ends up looking really good. Uh, Dracolic Scales. Now, this is an Army Painter D&D Unique Paint. This is a nice blue color. Yes, I could use a Griff Charger Gray here again, but I just wanted this different kind of blue and a different kind of paint for these wraps around his, like, horns. Yeah, I don't know if they're horns or what. I don't know if it's part of the armor or not. I think so. It might actually be part of the armor there some rigid brown now just to do some straps uh, that's holding on his armor uh, this rigid brown is from the zombie side invader paint set it is a unique paint color there are i'm sure some browns out there that are very similar to that so whatever you have that's lying around it looks like this you can use a leather brown you can use a light brown whatever you want i just want those straps to be a little bit more prominent on this miniature uh, then we're using some retributor armor uh, and we're doing it very very lightly so i'm very thin coating this uh, I'm rubbing a lot off the brush, just trying to get it on top. And you know what? It actually, that slap shop method, I was surprised because usually I see a lot of painters using the Zenithal method and then slap some paint on, but I think they put it on too thick that you don't even see the highlight again. Like the, 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 the black and white is just not there anymore. There's no dark and light. I found that with the slap chop and really thinning out your paint, not putting on much, really spreading it out, you still have, it's not super there, but it's there. Uh, a tint of highlighting it, it's not much but like again you know it's there it's very subtle but uh, just thin out your paint you can put a little bit more water on your brush you can do whatever you want you can spread it onto a little bit of a wet palette and there you go now to finish off the miniature we're gonna be using some agrox earth shade on the metallic parts as well as like that uh, so I'm they are part of the helmet those horn things uh and i do do his beak as well because it was a little too yellowy and adding that agrax earth shade just give it an earth tone to it so there you go folks the griffin from massive darkness 2 is painted and ready to hit the table i want to thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one